Welcome everyone to some more Lord of the Rings Online. In this episode, I'm going to be doing some of the Yule Festival quests for the year of 2017. I did all of the Yule Festival quests last year for the 2016 festival, and I think those are episodes 161 through 165, if you want to go back and watch those. This year, I'm going to be again trying to hit up every quest, but I may not be as in-depth with it as I was the first time around. This is really just to make sure that I hit the quest that I missed. Specifically, there's that one meta quest that you have to do Yule Festival quests for like 20 days in a row. So I'm going to try to go for that and I'll edit the episode together. That way I'm not repeating the same quest 300 times and making a super episode. You get the point. You get the point. Let's go ahead and get started with the Yule Festival. The Yule Festival is a time of celebration and merriment. Come and join the festivities in Frostbluff and drink, eat, and be merry. Happy Yule. So there are some quests here within Middle-earth itself, and then there are, of course, the Winter Home quests, which I'll be doing, but for this episode, I'm going to start over at the Winter Home. Visit the delightful land of Frostbluff, where all things winter and all things special are happening. Come quickly. All right, excellent. And I am wearing my Stone of the Tortoise for this because otherwise I would get a ridiculous amount of experience doing these quests a million times. Also, I still do need to record a few episodes for Moria. I think I have like two episodes left to record there. So things may look a little bit differently because I'm going to release this episode after I'm done with Moria. So anyways, let's head on over. I think that's enough rambling. Alright, and here we are. Let's open up the daily. Congratulations, you got made it to Frost Bluff. Participate in any Yule Festival activity today and earn a sack of presents. Excellent. So you may remember there's a storyline here in which you can either help the rich people or the poor people. And last year I helped the rich people so that this year I could help out the poor people. And then do all the quests in that sense. Welcome to Frost Bluff, my friend. If you're here for the Yule Festival, I'd recommend you get in the spirit of the season and participate in many of our fun Yule activities. If you're not here for the Yule Festival, maybe you should be. Festi Festa folks that participate in many of our activities and show their true holiday spirit might just earn themselves some wonderful gifts. So again, this is that quest, the meta quest of doing Frost Bluff quests for like 20 days in a row. So I'm going to try to get that done. There's plenty to do around Frostbluff. Explore the town and show us your holiday spirit. It's a bit chilly, but I'm sure you'll find a warm company all around. I'll not be ignored. Ah, Kippen, I couldn't help but notice you've been up to all sorts of schemes during your stay here. Well, I suppose you're not quite acquainted with many aspects of our life here in town. I can recognize the signs of some real trouble stirring. The mayor told me to direct you to Mara Sandy Downs for his orders if you should wish to follow them. I think you won't regret helping the mayor in this scheme. So it looks like he's already giving me the final quest of the chain here since I've already done all the previous ones. So let me see what some of the other ones off. I guess these are the repeatable ones. So I'll just accept this for Will now. You let me speak my piece. I'll not be ignored. Oh, we can't have this. No, indeed, the mayor's instructions were incredibly clear. Those beggars need to move off. I don't care where they go, but we can't have good patrons and patroness seeing them like this. The mayor of this town wants this town to look pristine and happy and clean as long as the Yule festivities go on. Those beggars must get off the streets at once and clear out. Are you looking for something to do between festival games? I'll give you a nice reward if you clear out those beggars. I have my hands full with the other guard duties right now. All right, let me let me wait on that. I'll not be ignored. Greetings, Kippen. I see you have been enjoying the many offerings of the winter home this season. For my part, I've striven to keep peace between the inside and outside of town. I'll spare you the long tail. Mayor Goodnow has asked me with driving out a family of snow beasts that have lingered here in the winter home since it was founded. The beasts move further away each winter. Personally, I think they hate all the noise and cheer. You've had your share of merriment, have you not? Why don't you head on out there and bring some of your own variety of yield cheer to those beasts? 
If we drive them off, I think we'll all feel safer. It's a sorry day. You want me to leave? But Guard Kember just told me to leave a few hours ago, so I did, and this is where I ended up. Where should I go now? You don't know where Barrett Noel should move, but you repeat your assurance that Guard Kembar wants him to move regardless. Alright then, I suppose I'll just have to amble somewhere else. And then Guard Kember and you, or the mayor, or someone, will tell me what that's no good either. Then I'll amble elsewhere. I'm sure we beggars make a good sport for the rich folk. Well, well. You've made yourself right at home here. You have participated just as the mayor wished, and you have also gone against his wishes by speaking with those he considers an unsavory influence on the great festival. But now you must choose. One cannot have things both ways in life. Not where it matters. Who will you choose to ally yourself with? All right. Are you ready to decide? You must help either the workers and beggars or the mayor. You will be rewarded according to the financial abilities of each. So again, last year I helped the mayor, so this year I'm going to assist the poor. I'll give you the short of it. The mayor is feeling a little suspicious of the workers and wants someone to spy on them to see what's afoot. What you make of this is for you to decide, but I will talk to the mayor if I were you. See if he has... See what he has to say is to your liking. Okay. So let's do that. Let me get on my goat here. Me shoe off this beggar. I'm sorry. Did he need some? I'll go, I'll go. Though I think it's abominable bad the way you rich folks treat us beggars. Just who do you think made us this way? The world ain't made of coins, you know. When one class gets all the coins, another gets none. something for me. I cannot believe it, Kippen. Guard Kember and the Watchmen have been making an effort to keep the less fortunates from the festivities, but I never thought that some of our own patrons would drive them out. Where will they go? I'm sure a few would sneak back in, but it's only gotten tougher for them as of late. The harsh chill of Frost Grimms has taken hold of Frost Bluff, and I fear that those that are forced outside the walls of the winter home. Please, Kippen, can you help them? I can't stop working for fear of losing my wages, but maybe you can do something about those Grimms. I've seen them gathering at the frozen pond northeast of here, and it's only a matter of time before they move closer. Drive them off. My friends depend upon it. How can I be of service? But what does the mayor want? I would love nothing more than to disappear and stop inconveniencing the rich folk, believe me. But I am a person for flesh and blood. I can't just disappear like a wisp of cloud on a windy day. There's nowhere else for me to go. What can I do for you? I lost some cots. Please, good hobbit. Please. It'd be very cold. I shan't stay long. I only sneaked over here to be near warmth of the town square. It has been too long since any real warmth flooded in my blood. You give Bill Hyde a hard look and convey Guard Kimber's orders. Yes, yes, I see how I might be upsetting patrons. I'm dreadful sorry. I'll be going. Ah, just a hobbit I wanted to see. You look to be quite of the useful sort, so I have no qualms about asking you to, be, to do a bit of dirty work for me. You see, the workers here have never been overly fond of my policies. They can feel however they wish. But if I hear them stirring up any trouble or complaining to folks, that will mean trouble for them. Gareth Rust is one who seems to be the most upstart among his peers. You must go spy on him and convince him to talk to you. If he says anything out of place, the rascal won't have a job. Ah, you've you returned. Today. Perhaps today you will have better luck seeing an ode to the old blood tuk. Blood tusk. I look forward to hearing what you have to say about it. So again, some of these quests might not make sense if you haven't watched the previous time I was here in 2016. So again, those are episodes 160 through 165, I believe. How 
can I be of service? I know begging and becoming of a man, but but these are hard times for my sister and me. We are very hungry, you see. So seeing as there's lots of new folk about, I thought perhaps a good willing. Really, he ran off mid sentence. It's fine. Let me see if there's a performance starting anytime soon. Looks like it's probably going to be a few minutes. Three minutes. I'm not waiting around for that. I'll come back. How can I be of service? Ah, the mayor is right to send a spy. But you are a friend to us workers, and that is a great boon. I got reason to believe that the mayor uses the extra funds from our lowered wages and overtime for unsavory transactions and doesn't invest in making our town better. I have seen Guard Frostway coming to town at night to collect money and forms to bring to the fort down by the lake. Will you go investigate down there? The mayor will fire me on sight if I leave my post. This is the pie eating contest. I'm not gonna do that right away. Let me see if the beggar is back here. He is. What can I do for you? So seeing there's a lot of new folk around, I thought perhaps a good willing patron could spare me some kindness that I might get a bit of bread during the festival. I see I'm not wanted, I'll go find another haunt and I'll stay out of sight. I am mightily worried if I've displeased any of you good patrons. Alright. Done with that. What is this world coming to? I don't see any beggars loitering about now. Whatever you said to them seemed to do the trick. As promised, here's a reward for your favor you did me. Now the mayor will be pleased, which means that I will be pleased, and that is always just how I want it. Well done, friend. Come and sit by the fire for a moment. You have earned a sack of presents for all your hard work today. Come back tomorrow and we shall have more gifts for you. So there's still plenty of things to do here. Yeah, I'd probably level up a few times repeating these quests if I wasn't wearing my Stone of the Tortoise. Let me switch to Range Stance. There you go. Oh, really? I thought I... I thought I had killed four of those, but apparently I only killed three. Whatever. There we go. You nosy patron should mind your own business and stay in the festival area. You're out of bounds, Hobbit, and out of your depth. So you're intent on sticking your nose where it don't belong? The mayor pays me good money to make sure folks like you don't dig up any unwanted dirt. You should learn to mind your own business. Really, dude, you got 292 HP. You, you best clear off. There's no proof of anything. You're strong. Too strong. Guard Frostway has been driven off, but the door to the fort opens on its own accord. I've had enough of this job. The mayor has caused me nothing but trouble. Insufferable. You insult the mayor by coming here unbidden? I'll not let you smear the mayor's reputation or the reputation of this town, not after all the sacrifices we've made. You fool. By challenging this fort, you are challenging the mayor. I think he will send you to the stocks for this once I knock you out, and you'll find out whoever sent you here, stranger. I'll make you wish you never grew so bold. Why are you here? Do you think any good will come from exposing us? 
Do you think you have not also profited at the expense of the poor? You think you're helping them by coming here. But think, how many coins have you reaped at their expense? The banker is driven off and a curious piece of paper swirls into your hands as he, as he flees. Your search is over, all the evidence of the mayor's corruption is on the receipts. I am not strong enough to stop you. You may do as you like, just leave me out of it. So I wonder if the receipt is actually in my inventory, doesn't look like it. But at least I have evidence. Then let me... Do another quest here. The abominable snow beasts. Need to move three of these off. Get that final one back there. I think I can head back to the winter home now. Turn in some quests, grab some other ones. Wonder what the mount this year looks like. I will of course be showing the rewards when I'm done with the Yule Festival. this world coming to they won't budge i can't say that i'm surprised in any event thank you for taking time out of your stay here at the winter home to help if you would care to try again tomorrow come find me i don't want to take more of your time today so here's some coin for your trouble i'm not gonna go reforge i'm just gonna keep doing some quests how can i be of service What's that you have there? The mayor looks at the piece of paper in your hand and pales in alarms as he realizes you know everything about his irresponsible investing while the folks of this town go hungry. What, what are you going to do with that? Surely you don't mean to tell our innocent visitors of this, do you? Please, I will do anything you ask if you just put that paper back where it belongs, hidden away. What do you want? What share of profit will appease you? You demand that the mayor sets the wages right for the workers and gives the beggars back their jobs. That seems pretty honorable. Oh, it's a sorry day. What sorrow and what joy this winter has brought me. I can hardly believe my ears, Kippen. By what providence has the mayor decided to give me another chance at life? You are so good to deliver this message to me. My outlook does not seem so bleak now. I can't believe it. How can I be of service? Thank you, Kippen. I'll be able to rest easier knowing that my friends are safe from the bite of winter. Even just for tonight. If those grooms return, I may ask for your help again. What can I do for you? Oh, good hobbit. Thank you. I can feel it. You have had a great part in the gift that you now bring me for Mayor Goodnow. Such wonderful news. I'll go to the work site now. Let me see if I can finish watching the play here to get credit for the quest. Looks like another one's gonna be starting soon, so I may have missed the timing on that again. Hurrah, hurrah, I cannot believe it. I was hoping every moment that some luck will come my way and it has at last. No. Dang it, that happened last time too. That's so annoying. That's the one thing I hate about Frost Bluff is talking to the beggars. Sometimes they run off and you gotta wait for them to respawn. Can't you leave me to my misery? Surely, surely you are joking. How can this be? Has the mayor grown a heart? I count my blessings. I will go to work at once. This is wonderful news. I am so happy. 
Gotta wait to talk to her. I don't want to do the pie thing just yet. So I heard we Hello talk there. to him, so I'll just continue. <laughs> You're the bearer of such marvelous news. I can hardly believe my ears. I'm looking for Bill Hyde. There he is. God dang it. It's so annoying when that happens. I'm just going to the theater. Is it still not starting? Why is it taking so long? It's ridiculous. Keep missing him. It's extra difficult if you actually want to read the text because somebody else will just roll up and click continue quest and then you get left in the dust. I guess I have no option. I just gotta wait for him to respawn. How can I be of service? You you can give me my life back with your news. I don't know what to say. Can it really be true, Kippen? Can the mayor have grown a heart? What a wonderful day. Things are turning around for this town. I can feel it. I'm so happy. What do you need? You have done a wonderful thing, Kippen. We workers don't have much, but we scraped together what we could. Please accept these gifts as tokens of our gratitude. But know that we will not forget you or the great deeds you have done this day. If we ever have the opportunity to give you proper thanks, you can rest assured that we will. So let's see what this all looks like. Well... I wish I could take my cloak off so I could actually see. Uh, whatever. Anyways, let me just go ahead and finish that. Just with you a moment. Back again. Maybe I spoke unjustly the first time we met. Mayor Good now wishes to please folk like you. Is the reason folk like me go hungry this winter? But well, you don't seem like a bad sort, despite the mayor seeming to like you. If you want to earn yet more favor with me and my fellows here, you surely won't object to playing a little prank on the mayor for the sport of the real townsfolk. The mayor has some fireworks stored near the festival area and he's intent on saving them for just the right moment. If you set them off where they are, you'll ruin the show, at least for him. While the patrons are distracted, you should pinch Frost Bluff coins from their pockets. I can think better use for those coins. Might I take a moment of your time? Kippen has come back to visit. That is enough to brighten my day for it needs brightening. As I walked to work this morning, I passed the good people of our town who are even worse off than myself. I had nothing to give them. It is, a f it is the same every morning and every night. I count myself very lucky for what I have, but my life would be better yet if I had the ability to give. All my wages go to feeding my children and to paying taxes on our home. If only there was something I could do. Perhaps Mayor Goodnow will give us more wages soon, but then I will be able to share my good fortune with those less fortunate. Can I be of service? Gracious me, you are so very kind, Kip, and I am amazed by your goodness, my dear hobbits. Hello there. What charity, what kindness. I haven't been on the receiving end of such generosity in many long day. I will remember this, good hobbit. Are you here to help me? I'm so busy, I don't know what to do with myself. There are so many hungry patrons to serve. 
Would you be so good as to prepare some ingredients so that the feasting folk don't go without a fair portion? Let's see, we'll need loads of breads, bowls of berries, mushrooms, eggs. The pies are still doing fairly well for now. The hard part is that the mayor's wife wants only the best, so the ingredients must be collected fresh all about. I hope that you have some sturdy shoes with you. Hello, friend. Could you help me with something? As you know, the mayor demands the very best of everything and likes to have a say in all that goes on here. He requires that we use the very best firewood that we can get. Unfortunately for us, the firewood comes from the very angry trees. I've never seen anything like it, really. The trees rage and flail their limbs at us as we chop them down. I'm still very scratched up from the last time I went. So do you think you could collect some wood? It's almost like they're not trees at all. Stay and hear me out. It's not my fault. It's not my fault the kegs are nearly empty. I'm overworked, I am. Have you ever seen the body of an overworked as myself? I'm so overworked that today I decided that I just about had enough and went to try some of the events for a change instead of running them. The problem is I fell asleep afterwards. I was all tuckered out. Patrons are complaining that some of the kegs are empty. Can you bring this to refill them? I would do it, but I was promised a dance. I do not ask much of you. You know, Kippen, some days I really loathe this job. Mabel never pulls her weight, I swear. I would give anything to trade with those beggars. They really have it easy compared to me. The worst of it has got to be the garbage left by some of the sloppier festival patrons. Stinking, slimy garbage and I refuse all around the eating contest. And the mayor's wife demands that the patrons don't see any of it, but it keeps piling up. I can't bear to touch the stuff myself. I don't even want to look at it. Mabel keeps saying she's too busy. Say you don't look too busy. All right, let's clean up, I guess. Doing a pretty good job here with the cleanup. I hope you're satisfied with your decision, Kippen. There are many consequences to either action and rewards as well. Perhaps this little drama will play out again some other year if you find you regret your decision. Alright. Let's see what else I can do here. Let me give this guy a token. And a little bit it's of lag here. Day. Part of me, surely, surely you're not giving this to me. Oh, generous warden, you are too good. I also want to remind you guys, don't forget that there's a lot of deeds associated with the Yule Festival. And I did, I think most of them, 
last year, so you can always check out those episodes. But then I will see after I'm done recording this episode. I'm gonna try to check the completionist checklist, see what I'm missing. Alright, let me go around here. Guard right there. I forgot where I'm supposed to take this keg. I think it's over here. There you go. I have amended the keg crisis. So done with that as well. Why are you bothering me? Ah, good work. You really saved my life there. You know, you're pretty good at this, Kippen. I can probably find more work for you if you're interested. I'm so busy after all. Tell me what you need or move along. I don't see any more garbage or spills. Thank goodness the very sight of them was the most nauseating. I can't imagine how disgusting it must be to actually have to touch such things. Really, I do think I might be in the wrong line of work. Let me go to my goat again. It's Can it be? Are you day. giving these to me? I don't know what to say. Let me head out and go collect a few things. Go collect some mushrooms, some eggs, all the good stuff. Oh, I had to make three bread at the oven. I only interacted with it once. Oh well. I can always go back. It's not that big of a deal. Do need to collect some lumber up here, I believe. That's everything I need. Surely there was more than nine. <laughs> Do need to head on over to Cluckland over here and get some eggs. Thank you. 
Poor chickens, just stealing their eggs. Snowball fights over here, I'm gonna have to come back and do that. And then there's also the snowmen. Can I speak with you a moment? Ah, so you want to give it a try. It's not easy, I'll tell you that. You've seen the ice sculptures in the winter home, have you not? My work is brilliant, at least most of the time. I'll admit, I've been having some more trouble with this project than my last. I simply can't keep this field filled and the mayor is getting frustrated. Whether it's the winter conditions or some of those blasted snow beasts, my snowmen keep getting destroyed. It's hard to stay passionate when your work is wrecked every single day. Maybe you can help though. See if you can craft more of my snowmen and make this field an amazing sight to behold. Forgot which one's like the easy one to do. Let me do that one. Much to Virgil's dismay, you've caught a snowman out of the corner of your eye. This is clearly not Virgil's finest work, and it's a wonder that he did not try to hide what he was clearly, what was clearly a failed endeavor. Perhaps there were more snowmen that looked like this. It might appear that Virgil on this did this on purpose and was crafting a new form of art far beyond the comprehension of the usual Frostblood visitor. It appears that Virgil only used a stick and cold for this snowman, so a quick search for fro around frost bluff might provide you with all this needed supplies so again last year i did all five of these there's a deed to do all five of the snowmen but once you've done them once there's really no point in doing the more complicated ones i don't know why my music got like super loud all of a sudden that was kind of weird Now the coal is right here, that's what I thought. <laughs> then I can grab some more bread here. Need to make two more. Let me go do the snowman real quick, and then I'll head back inside. There we go. Greetings, friend. I like the way you work. Your work is almost as good as mine. Maybe you can come help me out some more tomorrow. I'm sure if you keep trying, you can do even better. Here are some coins for your hard work. Ah, this is for me. What have I done to deserve such a gesture? I do not know what it is, but I will endeavor to do it again. Thank you, Pippin. Let me come in here, see if we're ready to get credit for watching a play. Two minutes. I'm not waiting two minutes. I'm gonna go turn in some quests. Thank you, Kippen. Ah, what a burden off my poor shoulders. We nearly ran out of berries while you were gone, but all of this will help to keep the feast nice and stocked up. I don't know what I would have done without you. Greetings, friend. Oh dear, that's quite a large pile of firewood. Do you have any wounds that need tending after all that? I'm very grateful, Kippen. You are a brave hobbit. Now I can let my own wounds heal before going back into the fray. Let me do this quest real quick. And I need to pickpocket all these people.
Last two here. Alright. What title did I get? The Blameless. Okay. Congratulations, you made it to Frost Bluff. Wonder if um, the time reset. Is that what happened? Yes, dang it, that sucks because I didn't turn in my daily. Or my In the Spirit of Yule. My Euro Festival, and I hope you're having fun at the time of the Yule Festival. It seems fitting in the season of giving that you should have a gift, so here you are. Come back tomorrow, I shall have more gifts for you. Hmm. Yeah, that's really annoying, because... Now I can't do the quest today, because... I turned it in... Well, never mind. Maybe I can... I don't know what's going on. I thought the timer reset for that. But apparently there's one more hour. Whatever. Greetings. Kippen, did you give the beggars your hard-earned rewards? That was so generous of you. You worked hard for those. How inspiring. I'm sure you won't regret such a good deed. Now those unlucky people will be able to eat dinner tonight. What can I do for you? That was quite a display, Kippen, and judging from how close they were, I warrant you sent the mayor into a fit and disrupted things rather nicely. Well done, well done. Here, you should keep half of what you managed to collect. These coins here will be enough to spread out among your friends so that you won't go hungry tonight. Well done, friend. Come and sit by the fire for a moment. You have earned this sack of presents for all your hard work today. Come back tomorrow and we shall have more gifts for you. Alright. Let me go finish the theater quest, I guess. Might have to fast forward this until the play starts. Let's see what my Hobbit present from the day is. Matham Hunter armor. I have so many of those. Alright, so I attended a performance. Time to get out of here. You saw one of our performances? What did you think of an ode to old blood tusk? Oh, I see. Yes, some of the actors have been having difficulties. Perhaps you could come back tomorrow. I'm sure we will be back on schedule by then. Alright. What else do I have? I think the last thing is the pie running contest. And the snowball fights. This might take a while. Okay. Would you do something for me? If you're hungry, you've come to the right place, but I hope you're very hungry, Warden. This is the eating contest, and it's no laughing matter. There are five stations, and you must run to each of them. You get a small reward for completing the first few meals. And a great reward for completing the fifth meal before the three minutes are over and the event finishes. Are you ready? Just wait here for me to say when the event begins. So again, you want to eat berries and mushrooms are okay. They're not going to fill you up as much. But bread and eggs you want to avoid. Pies you want to avoid. And then the, the drink is kind of like a gamble. 
it can either make you go really fast or it can really slow you down, so... Ideally, you want to be going for berries and mushrooms. Ah! The more people there are with you, the harder it is, of course. Right, we're about to begin here. And let's start. Oh, come on. Got stuck behind the table there. I'll be brave. I'll do the mystery drink. It was bad. It was bad. Did not want that. Greetings, well, I friend. imagine you're full of another when you started. Now it's time to go to the second phase, though. I hope you got plenty of room left. All right. Well, that's really bad. Oh, dang it. It's it's down the other way. Oh, man. I always forget. Only got a few seconds here, so I'm going to skip the text. Twenty-four seconds. What can I do? Quickly here? now, you're not done yet. You move on to the third station. Third station should be up here, I think. Slow aim, it's ridiculous. I cannot be you must hasten to the fourth station, Kevin. There are only two stations left. Get this mushroom here. And now I have no real good options. Might as well do the pie. Actually, I'll stop the pie and I'll do the berries. There you go. What can you I must say since you? the fifth station, there's only one station left. Not doing so good here. My hobbit is in a food coma. Grab these mushrooms. Nice. More mushrooms. Eggs are not the worst thing. If I could click them. Come on. There you go. Let me grab these mushrooms. Excellent. What can I do for you? Well done. Though I don't know where you put all that food, I'm almost like you have more than one stomach or something. It's very strange if you ask me, but yes, well done. Not many patrons make it as far as the final station. I imagine you'll need to walk it off for now. Or perhaps curl up in the gutter somewhere. Perfect. So the final thing here is going to be the snowball fight. Hopefully there's a few people playing this. You can't do it by yourself, obviously, or else you have nobody to throw the snowballs at. But I'll edit when we're ready to have a fight here. Alright, let's pick up the quest. Let's do Battle of the Snowballs daily. Can I speak with you a moment? Hello there, good patron. While you can complete the snowball fight as many times per day as you like, I'll only reward you for it once. Complete either the easy or the more difficult snowball challenge, and then return to me for your reward. So there's a deed to win easy and hard a certain number of times. I've already unlocked that deed at last year's festival. Again, you can always go watch those episodes. So I'm going to go with the easy for now, just in case there's not many people here to participate. That way I'm guaranteed to be able to complete the quest. Can I speak with you a moment? Hello there, good patron. Would you like to know 
how the snowball fight works here are the instructions when the event begins players who are gathered in the battlefield will be able to pick up snowballs from the snow piles on the ground snowball you gather will appear in your inventory then you may target another player right click the snowball to throw it and then you must gather another in this particular quest you can join the game as many times as it takes to complete the objective So I will edit when we're ready to begin here. All right. Let's start picking up some snowballs here. And let me put that right there. I think I need like 10 of them. Yeah, I need 10. Looks like I already have 10, so now let me go find somebody to throw it at. There was a guy right here. Where'd they go? Oh, there we go. It's a matter of using all 10 of my snowballs. There's only the two of us here. That's all right, I suppose. So I got my 10, but I'll stand around a little longer. That way, this guy can complete his quest as well. That would be mean if I left and he didn't get to finish the quest. Unless they're done. Nope, never mind. And again, I like to get all the snowballs I need first and then start pegging them. That's just the way I prefer to do it. if they're done or not. They might be going for the hard, which I think is 15 snowballs. I think they can still throw it at me from out here. Be a well done, Kippen. You have quite a knack for this sport. I'll wager there are a lot of cold people around here now, thanks to you. Alright, so I think that's all the Frost Bluff quests, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to do a little bit of editing. That way, over the next three weeks or so, or whatever, I'll do that repeatable one to do quests here 20 days in a row. Alright, guys, it's like three weeks later. And I've done these quests like 20 times. So it's finally time to turn in In the Spirit of Yule one more time. And finally, I can turn in a Festive Flurry final. So that's for doing 10 quests every day for 20 freaking days. Pretty ridiculous. 20 days of celebrating Yule? Goodness me. Mara rummages around in her small bag of gifts, pauses, and then hands you the whole bag. You've given us all so much, and for that, you've earned the greatest gift of all, my friend. So again, I'd done all the previous tiers last year, but I wasn't able to get to this one. But it's finally time to finish that up. Excellent. Looks like I got some legendary items leveling up as well. What is this? Goodness me, where does time go? The Yule Festival is almost over. I must thank you, Kippen. You've done so much for this little town, and really made the festival special. I hope to see you next year when I'll have a whole new set of gifts ready for you. Until then, happy you. Alright. Perfect. So I got a ridiculous amount of tokens. It's time to go spend them. Let me go see if I can spend them somewhere else. That way we don't have to deal with the player music. Because it's a little bit loud, honestly. 
What can I do for you today? So, mainly interested in the mount of the year here, which is going to be the Winter Elk. I did get the Steed of Winter's Light last year. That's the mount I used during the four kill season. Anyways, let me grab this new one. Perfect. And he's only showing me the mounts, so I'm going to have to go to the loud player music. Sorry. How can I be of service? So, as always, there's some cosmetic... And then there should be some housing items as well. And some other junk. Some tomes for pets. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I'm going to be spending my tokens on much, honestly. Greetings, friend. There's always the consumables for the deeds. I'm just going to hoard my tokens for now. I was mainly interested in just getting the, the mount. Although, there is a deed to get all of these maps, so I may get some of these. Let's do it. Let's get one of each. There you go. I got one each of those, and as you can see, that does open up a deed. Photographer of Ariador, so that's to obtain all the maps here, so at least I can start that collection. Let me show you the new mount, of course. It looks like it's gonna be the Winter Elk here. There you go. It's a weird looking mount, but I'll take it. I like the antlers. New D for the 2017 steeds. And I think I should have all of these, maybe, I don't know. of the harvest sky you actually have to mount them not just earn them so i don't know i think that's gonna do it for now wait wait don't go anywhere there's still more things to do here with the festival the festival has been over for a while but i've been editing some of the previous episodes in the mines of moria and i received this in the mail i'm not sure what triggered it but it's a letter from daily utterage and it starts a quest good deeds at yule time Kip and I hope you remember me, for I will never forget your kindness. Ever since you helped Gareth Rust and myself, our town has been thriving. The mayor has been in no position to do us any harm again, and we are all much better for it, and happy and healthy. No one is left without a home or without bread and meat for supper. At this time, I could not thank you properly, but my wife and I have come into some money and we wanted to spend some of it on you. Your goodness will never leave our thoughts. I have mailed your gift to a friend in Bree who will be happy to give it to you. You only need to pick it up, and it is yours. Sincerely, Daily Utteridge of the Winter Home. So this may be related to helping the poor people as opposed to the rich people. I don't know, but I'm not sure what triggered the timing for it to get delivered. My house is a mess, by the way. I need to f figure out some decorations here, but I just don't want to invest the time into that right now. Alright, so let's head on over to Bree. Let's see, I guess right here, there we go. Not sure where Nora is. Music's really loud in there. Alright, let's see how far she is. Not too bad. Can't tell if she's in the city or outside. She's in here. All right. Curious to see what the reward is going to be. Probably nothing of consequence, but I like to try and figure out nonetheless. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to go down and then... Go down Beggar's Alley, I believe. All right, here she is. What can I do for you? Ah, so you are the famous warden who helped the Utteridges. They have sent a package for you. Here you are. 
I guess it already showed me what the reward was going to be. It's not a bad road. That actually looks pretty nice. All right. Oh, no, I forgot to have my Stone of the Tortoise for that. But anyways, all right. Now we're finally done with this. So hope you enjoyed the episode and <laughs> see you next time.